Christmas 2020. Yes, we made it. On the show today, we have a very special guest, Aaron St. Louis, the voice is here. He's my celebrity taster. He'll be joining us in just a bit. First up, I'm doing one of my Christmas dishes with a twist. So, you know I like to put twists on certain recipes. So this is a classic Italian dish that I am doing, that I am putting my Trini twist on. It's a spaghetti carbonara. Really simple eggs, bacon, and you kind of just toss that up, and it's a nice Moorish dish. It's called a carbonara. I'm starting, let me tell you, I'm starting with bacon. And this here, guys, this twist is all about the pig. To my bacon, I want to start seasoning and getting things ready. So I have some garlic uh, that I want to get in my garlic press. Add the garlic, and you toss that garlic in the bacon fat. Looking good in there? I have some white wine, and this white wine, I enjoy cooking with alcohol, to be honest. Uh, I've done rum glaze sauces. I, I really enjoy cooking with alcohol. Um, I just, I'm just adding probably just about, I would say about a quarter cup of wine in there, and then this usually is for me. Ah. Important lesson I learned over the years, cook with alcohol that you like to drink. Nice white wine. Once that gets nice and the, just the alcohol starts cooking off a little bit, you'll start to smell it. You can then add your ham and your pork in there. So you start smelling all the wonderful flavors of the ham and the pork right away there. I want to start seasoning because you season in layers, guys. I always learn to season layers. So just salt. Now you really don't have to heavily season, but you want to season in layers because a lot of flavor in here with the ham and the pork that was already cooked and done. Um, just a little, little red pepper flakes, a little oregano, just to add to that. Now it's time to add my pasta. So I have some spaghetti that boiled and ready here. And I'm taking the spaghetti directly here now and tossing it straight in here. So it's traditionally called a spaghetti carbonara. So I just want to add that amount of spaghetti. I, like to, I don't like to add all the pasta at once because I kind of like to just to make sure I have a proper, proper mix of pasta to my ingredients. This smells fantastic already. At this stage, I want to just re-season. Once you add the pasta in there, just add a little more salt, a little more pepper, season with everything, red pepper flakes and some oregano. I want to use a very important step. I want to get rid of this pasta, but this pasta water that I have here, I have three eggs beaten, and I just really want to add a little touch of the pasta water. That's fantastic flavor in this pasta water. The purpose of this as well is called tempering. It's a fancy word, tempering, but sometimes I don't like to even use these words because you know when people just cook at home, they're thinking about tempering, but really it's not to allow the eggs to, when you pour it in there, to start scrambling and frying up with the hot pan and the hot. So you just really want to get the eggs to temperature a little warm with the pasta water and it really serves as a nice poop, a nice flavorful dish when you add everything together. Yeah, so I'm ready to add the eggs straight in here. Now, important, when I add my eggs in here, I take off my fire and start tossing and make sure the eggs combine properly with the pasta. I have a little cheese here that I want to add. So I have my Parmesan cheese that I add straight in there and then mix again. So it's like an Italian one pot dish. And you mix and you get that all stirred in. And this is ready to serve. Look at that. That's after Christmas for you. Just to that, I could add a little more bacon on top. A little more bacon. A little more cheese. And my final touch, just a little element of green. I have some thyme leaves that I can just sprinkle there nicely. How does that look? This dish, fit for a king. I have the former three-time Soka Monarch champion in the house. He is known as Voicey these days. Aaron <laughs> St. Louis, I knew him as a little fella. Now he's a big man. Please welcome Aaron St. Louis, <laughs> as he is here with us. Seasons greetings. Seasons, Seasons greetings. greetings. <laughs> Joel, I just here for the food. Eh? Yeah. I just, I'll be real with you. I'm here for the food. <laughs> you didn't have time for that. You didn't have time for that. How are you? How are you? You didn't have time for that. Good to see you, brother. See me, man. Hey. See me, see me. So the first thing I want you to do is to take a sip, you know. Take a, take, take, take a, take a bite. Mm. To take a little bite. And and tell me, tell me, this is a little Christmas. And, and, 
I'm going to be Christmas honest. Please. I'll be honest. Eh? Mm-hmm. I'll be honest. Ah, boy. Ah, boy. I don't know where to start. <laughs> You're a pastor, man? Mm-hmm. So, so, so I see... Stop there. I see you putting out... I see you make a bread on, on its ground. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you know, I see you make a bread. Lyrical gain you a hard time, say like you can't Hard time, cook. hard time. Lyrical <laughs> naughty, and I can't convince them. You can't... I want to watch you, I can't convince them. But, 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 but you doing your thing in the kitchen? <laughs> That's why you can't convince them what you see. You gotta answer that with a straight face. Um, I mean... You getting a little help? A little help, yeah. I just get a little help yeah, too, yeah, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, 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 that's good stuff. You always ask me to cook from scratch. I'm like, nah. No, not from scratch. Not from scratch. <laughs> How are things, brother? I'm great. It's been, it's, been a, it's been a hell of a year, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just... Didn't anticipate this at all. At all. I mean, coming in from... Um, Carnival 2020, yeah. we had a great season. And you know, expecting so much happening in the year, we had lots of shows. We, we, we knew that it would have been a very hectic year for us. Yeah. So we kind of, you know, um, gauging that and then pandemic, COVID 19, that no one left anyway. Yeah. We were just here for probably like nine months, ten months. And um, a, a lot of things happened in, in, in this past period for me. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, was able to find myself. Uh, firstly, I would say family. Mm. I'm grateful that, you know, I had the time to spend with family and catch up on, you know, um, friends and that kind of thing. Um, because, I mean, for me, since 2016, we've been flying, 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 and then when you're back here, carnival, and then fly, fly, fly again, carnival. So, really didn't get this much time in, since like 2015 with mm-hmm. you know, family. Mm-hmm. So, um, I appreciate that. I mean, the disadvantages for me is that the creative side of things, you know, you're studying, you know, what, what it would have been. You know what I mean? So definitely for me, I would say like songwriting and you know, just the creating process. It, it, it was tough to start back writing and you know, creating new songs and that kind of thing. That was the tough part. Yeah, because everybody, voice, as you said, that something sparked because I've been speaking to people who see season and you know, yeah. we did a COVID Chronicles series where we spoke to a lot of people that, that you know, being really impacted, that was really impacted over it. But every single person, um, in every in different industries, yeah. said what you just said there, and I just think it's something that we should already take note of. Yeah, yeah. Despite COVID and all the negative impacts, mm. it there was some level of positivity yeah. where you was able yeah, to reflect, yeah. you was yeah. able to to pivot, do mm. something you wouldn't have done. Mm. We we have to look at the glass a little half, half full, half, <laughs> half, <laughs> yeah, half. because if we just focus on <laughs> in trouble, but everybody, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. and I included myself, you had to pivot, you had to do something a little different push the envelope where you wouldn't have done before. Mm-hmm. And, and I think that's what the artist would have, would have, would have, would have you, had to do as well. You will serve the shock and enjoy it. Yeah. Anytime you decide, you know, you just focus on your negative alone, it's problems. Yeah. It's problems. Yeah, yeah. Um, take me back to March. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, um, <laughs> March, April, <laughs> you say, what, not what, really, what's I going w- on here? No, I wouldn't say I went into panic mode because mm. for me, honestly, I thought it would have been like two, three months max. <laughs> and then everything back to normal. So. March, so I was like, all right, this is my finish by August, I'll be back outside, you know? <laughs> and then I realized it. So August, <laughs> so August. <laughs> you know what, and it's going on, and it's going on. So maybe somewhere in September, I started to panic yeah, a bit, yeah. because I realized it now. And then when um, the Honorable Prime Minister made the announcement, you know, no carnival next year, well, like, we, how are we going to do this? How, how, you know? So, um, I mean, for me, the good thing, I, I had other things in place. Um, but as I say, music is always my passion. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? So, so not being able to do that, not being able to do or, or perform on a stage for thousands of people and see smiles and people jumping up, you know, something like that, it, it definitely affected me. Yeah, yeah. My brother, we're coming back. We're taking a short break. Niceness. And when so we come back, you, you, you can right, go ahead nice, and, nice. and enjoy the dish. <laughs> when we come back, we continue with the man Voicey. He's here with us celebrating the Christmas holidays. It's Christmas here in Sweet TNT. Come on back. <laughs> 